A leading dementia authority and also an authority on concussion research is in the city for a number of engagements. Professor Damien Bailey is a guest of medical software developer ADI Instruments and he joins us now to talk about what he's been up to. Good evening. Good evening. What brings you to Dunedin in I your summertime normally? Yeah, that's right, yes. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm part of a, an academic lecture series, Care of AD Instruments, as you mentioned, and here to talk uh, a little bit about oxygen in the brain. Oh, nice. What does your research primarily explore? It explores how we regulate oxygen to the brain, and uh, there's a lot of clinical applications such as dementia and stroke, but also you're very keen on your rugby here in mm, New Zealand, mm. so uh, we apply that knowledge as well to concussion and, and sports in general. How important is it to sport? It's, it's very important. I mean, we're seeing now, certainly here in New Zealand, you've got some big players um, that usually beat whales in rugby, <laughs> and uh, we're seeing huge impacts, and uh, we're very keen to look at this as a, an alternative model, if you like, to, to shine some unique insight into dementia. Mm. What are some of the ways that rugby players can protect themselves from concussion? Well, I think they need to take ownership. Um, in terms of the potential injuries that they can incur um, as well as the rest of the teams and we're slowly starting to shed some light on, on the mechanisms and the consequences of recurrent concussion and not just in the young but also in the, uh, the older retired player. Mm. What else will you be doing while you're here in this country? Well, I'm uh, going to be giving a number of talks um, uh, across uh, the universities here and we'll be going up to Queenstown and uh, to Auckland as well. So just talking to uh, a number of groups and just spreading the word and raising the profile of oxygen in the brain. And you've recently returned from Mount Everest. What was that all about? Well, again, we were interested in uh, using that as an alternative model to provide insight into dementia and the control of oxygen transport to the brain. Um, and we attempted to climb Everest without oxygen uh, to see how the brain copes or sometimes doesn't cope. So uh, it was very exciting, um, but with a clinical application as well. And you took part in that yourself? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. How did it feel? It, fantastic. I mean, it's a long way up. It's a beautiful country. The mm. people are fantastic. And it's uh, a great opportunity to do some really alternative research rather than just working in a hospital or a university. But from a lack of oxygen point of view, a bit frightening? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I mean, uh, it demonstrates the power of acclimatization. And that was one of the things we were focused on, is trying to get more oxygen to the brain. And uh, I think, um, you know, we've got a lot of experience going into those environments. Mm. And, uh, you know, I think there's no gray area. You either really enjoy it or you really don't like it. And mm. I'm, luckily, I'm one of the guys that <laughs> really enjoys it. How do you juggle all of your varied interests? That's yeah, a good question. I think probably not sleeping much is, uh, is a prerequisite. But, uh, no, I'm just very passionate about my, my area. And I think in this area, you learn to, uh, to have a very very uh, wide interest in order to try to understand some complicated mechanisms in disease. So uh, we've got some very alternative models. Mm. What's on the cards for you for the remainder of the year? Uh, for the remainder of the year we might be going back to Everest. Um, we've uh, got an experiment planned perhaps towards the end of October um, and uh, again uh, I work at a university and uh, do research in a hospital so it's all very busy and, and also spending time with the family as well mm. which is probably the most important. Absolutely. Professor Damien Bailey thanks very much for your time and for coming out to New Zealand. My pleasure.